This is uh, an image that I created in Photoshop and it's uh, basically a peeled uh, sticker type of effect and I'm going to show you guys how to create it. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is create a new document, File New, and we'll keep this to 500 by 500 with a background of white and I click OK. I'm going to create a new blank layer. I'm going to click on this icon for a new blank layer. Next, I want to turn on the grid so we can uh, just uh, measure the, uh, the circles we're going to be creating. So I'll go into View, Show Grid. Perfect. Next, I'm going to grab the Elliptical Marquee Tool. And I'm going to start from this grid position right here. And I'm going to hold down the Shift and the Alt keys together. And I'm going to click and drag. like so. So the shift uh, makes it so the selection is a perfect circle and the alt modifier key makes, it makes it so that the uh, as we draw it draws out from the center. And I'm going to click on G for the, the paint bucket tool. I'm going to click on a foreground color and I'm going to make this um, a bluish icon. So I'm going to start with maybe a light blue. Let's just go up. Maybe a light blue like this. I'm going to click OK and we'll fill the selection. Control D to deselect and this is going to be the outer circle. I'm going to create a new blank layer as well and we do the same thing. So we'll grab the elliptical marquee tool and we'll go back to the center the same position in the grid and I'm going to hold down okay I'm going to hold down the shift alt keys one more time and I'm going to click and drag and make another circle and I let go and I'm going to grab the I'm gonna press the G key for the paint bucket tool one more time and we'll grab and we'll just make this a fairly darker color click OK and we'll click to fill this selection control D to deselect and now we have the paler outer, wider, uh, outer, outer circle rather and the darker uh, blue circle I'm going to add a little uh, pattern to the outer circle. I'm going to click on the layer 1 and I'm going to click on Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And I'm just going to keep it to a low setting. I have a setting here, an amount of 7.16%. And I'm going to click OK. And before we do anything else, I'm going to click on Edit and Fade, Add Noise. And I'm just going to fade this guy to an acceptable level let's try 25 percent and click OK I'm going to click on control H to hide the grid and let me just control plus to zoom in here that's pretty good control 0 to take us to 100 percent next I will click on layer 2 and I'll right click and merge down so we have the uh, circle on the same layer. I'm going to click on V for the V tool and just click this guy down, bring this down a little bit, position him like this, perfect. Next I'm going to work on the little peel effect. For this I'm going to use the polygon, polygonal lasso tool and we'll click let's say right about here and we'll drag let's see That here is about fine. I'm going to click one more time and we'll go up and form a triangle like so. And I'm going to right click and layer via cut. So now we have that just that selection on a separate uh, on its own layer. Next, I'm going to click on Control T to transform the selection and I'll right click and I click on Flip Horizontal. I'll right click one more time, Flip Vertical. And I'm just going to click Control Plus to zoom in here, and the space bar to pan and zoom. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys to nudge the selection down. About there. And I click on the check mark to accept this selection change. And let me just um, 
hide the first layer here, see how it looks. It's not perfect, but we'll be able to fix this uh, pretty soon. Okay, Control uh, Alt Zero to take us back to 100%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on layer one and I'm going to add another blank layer. And this will be um, to give us a slight 3D effect for the peel. I'm going to click on D to reset re um, right, to reset the colors. So black is our foreground color. B like boy or brush for the brush tool and I'm just going to go ahead and brush like so, not too thick and if I was using my Wacom tablet this would be a bit better but that's not bad even this guy out a little bit oops yeah, that's not bad. Like so. Okay, and we're gonna go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I think the last setting I had was around nine or ten. Ah, nine point five looks okay. I'm gonna click okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the Alt button and I put my cursor right between the two layers, between layer 3 and layer 1 if you're uh, using the same layer structure as I am so I'm going to hold on Alt, I'm going to click right between the two layers and once that's done, it, what's, what it has done rather is create a clipping mask Okay. and the last thing I'm going to do is fade this guy, I'm going to bring the opacity all the way down to 0 and we'll just incrementally increase it until we see something that we like I'm up to 25% so far. Up to 35%. That's not bad. 50%. It'll bring it back down to 45%. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it at 40%. You guys can fool around with this and see uh, what works for you. And this is pretty much how you achieve the effect. The last thing I'm going to do is just fix the uh, the layer 2 that we have here. If I just click on Control plus to zoom in, you can see the problem. It's a bit misaligned, so I'm just going to uh, press on V for the V tool, or the Move tool rather. And I'm going to click up on the arrow key, and that should pretty much do it. Control L 0 to go back to 100%. And that's looking pretty good. And the only other thing that you can do is just add uh, some text if you wish. T for the text tool. And you can go ahead and add any text, any text that you wish. And I'm just going to type out these videos and double click, make this guy white. And V for the move tool. And we can just um, double click one more time. I'm sorry. Control T. And we can just transform this. Control T. And just turn this guy around like so if you wish. Enter to accept the selection. And there you have it. There's your peeled sticker effect. Thank you for watching.